Our form has some nice CSS applied, and it looks okay, but it's still just a little bit messy. Right now, it's impossible for the user to tell which form control does what. There's no way to know if the bio field is for their email, or if the email field is for their password. We can label each one of our form controls using the label element. Let's create some labels right now and learn how they work. I'm going to create a label and then I'll explain it. So, if we hop into our workspace here, our first form field is for name, so let's add a label for that. I'm going to type label, and as you can see, workspaces will automatically close that element for me. And then I'm going to add an attribute called for, and we'll say it's equal to name. And then inside of our label, I'm going to type name followed by a colon. So let's save that out, switch over to our preview, and refresh. And as you can see, we now have a name label for this form field, and if I click on it, we'll automatically get focus on this particular form field. One thing I should note here is that I've added a colon but that's not actually required. You can format your label text however you'd like. So, how does this work? Well, you'll notice that I've added the for attribute to our label. This attribute associates the label with a particular form element. The way it matches is by ID. So, if there's an element on the page with the same value in its ID attribute, like we have right here, as the value that's in the for attribute, as we have right here, it will be matched. So what does it mean for an element to be matched to its label? Well, when I click on the label, like I showed you previously, we'll automatically get focus. But what if we didn't have that for attribute there? I'll just remove that, save and refresh. And now, if I click on the name, it won't actually give me focus to this element. However, if we do have the for attribute there, we'll get that behavior back. So let's add a few more labels for our other form controls. I'm going to add a label for the email field. So I'll type in email, and then I'll add one for password. Say label for password, and again, I'm making sure that I match the IDs with the four attributes. So we'll type in password there. And then finally, let's type in a label for our bio field. So the ID is bio and we'll say biography. Let's make some space between each one of these, just so we can see more clearly what's going on. I'll save that, switch back to our preview, and refresh the page. And let's just click around on each one of these to make sure that it gives focus to the proper element. Yep, it looks like everything's working just like we expect, and that looks good. Now, the user can tell what kind of information they should put into each form field.